Hey guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I like to nerd out to the science behind how we can keep our houseplants happy and to multiply them in our homes. So if you're into that kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel and send me likes. So in today's video, we're going to be saving some Sansevierias or Dracaenas. This project has been a long time in waiting. I've been putting it off and the Sansevierias that you see next to me are actually dying like crazy. It took them, I, I would say about eight to nine months to get this way. They're dying by the minute. However, they're very resilient and I have a strong confidence that I can save them. First of all, they were placed here outdoors where it gets rained on whenever and I'm not even sure who waters it. I think the gardener sometimes waters it or yeah, I'm not sure. There's really bad communication in that sense. So they are really, really struggling. But let me take you a close up to see what they look like. So there's actually two versions here. This is the Trifasciata that is variegated. Uh, this is scale attack and this is very common for my uh, Sansevierias here at home. I actually normally would uh, just use my soap and just scrub it down with my hands or with like, um, like a rough cloth so that I would uh, kind of, what is the right word, exfoliate off the scale from here. And apparently they don't really spread to other leaves unless they're touching. So yeah, I've got a huge pot full of Sansevierias that were actually covered in scale and I've managed to save it. It's doing well now. I took about an hour actually to take off all the scales. However, with this one, it's not doing that well. Yeah, I'm not sure because I'm not sure what's the medium in here actually. I see some burnt rice hulls in there. So I'm going to have to figure out what, what was actually the potting mix that was used. These taller ones were the uh, Trafasciata that is not variegated, which is the all green form. They kept drooping off the sides. These, these ones were just not really well, well taken care of. It was prop, improperly watered. Some of them are actually doing well. This is actually quite okay. And I do see a little bit of scale on the surface. So I'm going to clean them off with my soap in a bit. And these yellowing ones, let's try to pull it. Yeah, this is done. I'm going to have to cut it off. This is not going to survive. This one, oh, this one came right off. Yeah, so I'm going to be separating them into different pots, I think and changing the medium to see how they can survive. And I'm going to also keep them outdoors and it's just going to get rained on or watered nearly every day. Uh, and I wanted to show you something interesting. I actually took some of these variegated uh, Trifasciata and I have propagated them, them in water and in soil. What's really interesting is that they all took all the cuttings. I'm going to put on the screen what the cuttings looked like. So here is my propagate. Uh, there's quite a few cuttings in here. And each cutting gave me a plant, basically. And this is the original cutting. As you can see, I still have that arrow <laughs> in a marker. What happened to these? They were like mealybugs. <laughs> they love my Sansevierias. I don't know why. I don't know what to do with them. A lot of them are dying because of mealybugs. So what happened is that they actually reverted to the all green form. They're no longer, I think that's, yeah, that's the old leaf. Yeah, there's a little bit of funkiness going on there. <laughs> But yeah, they reverted. So if you propagate your Sansevieria trifasciata, that's got a yellow variegation, it's gonna give you all green leaves. I heard that the only way they can get them to be variegated like that is if you use root division, which uh, they do propagate naturally from. So I'm not gonna repot this particular Sansevieria because it's only got scale on one of the leaves and a few on other leaves. So I'm gonna show you quickly how I do that with my Oh, hang on, I'm struggling to take this off with my insecticidal bar soap. Okay, so I'm gonna just get it wet a little bit. I'm gonna lather it up. I'm gonna put the soap away and my hands are all nice and foamy. Yeah, and I'm just gonna give it a good shower. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's good to do this with your leaf once in a while if it's dusty too. Um, but primarily, this soap is for insecticidal purposes, so it's a pesticide. What happens with soap is that when it touches the scales body, it's going to cause the, the armor to explode, exposing their inside flesh, and they won't survive long uh, in that situation. Some of you may feel squeamish about touching the scale with your hands. At first I was, and now I'm just used to it. They're just animals. I'm sure they find us just as gross. <laughs> They're like, ew, humans, <laughs> human hands. Okay. So 
Someone asked if it's okay for the soap to get into the soil. It's totally fine. It's the same thing as neem oil drench. And we're all set. Okay, so here we are in my studio. I'm only gonna do one of the plants. I have one more over there, but it's gonna take too long. So yeah, I'm gonna get started with this. And this is very, very heavy. And I don't know if I'm gonna break the table if I do this. You know, I'm gonna unpot him on the floor. Sorry, I'll, I'll bring, I'll show you the roots inside. Okay, so I've taken it out of its pot. Oh, it's tipped over something. So it's strange because this is perlite in the bottom. And then this is mostly burnt rice hulls. And the roots, actually, I was surprised. I thought I would see a lot of rot in here, but the roots are white and healthy. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, there's the orange in here. I don't know if orange is the natural color for Sansevierias. But as you can see here on the detail, some of the leaves were damaged. And these were flopped over, by the way. They're supposed to go st upright and straight up, but a lot of the leaves actually started folding in half. So I I'm actually suspecting the main cause of this problem in decline is the scale. If I look at the leaves that are yellow, they're the ones that were attacked by scale. The other leaves were actually relatively healthy, if you look at this here. So I'm going to clean this up. It's going to rain soon, so I'm going to leave this on the table for now. And I'm going to get back to it. Oh, and this is so interesting. Look at that. Look at the fat tubers for the, <laughs> for the base of the plant. I guess this is part of the roots. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Sansevierus, they cannot be overwatered because they store so much water here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna turn this over so you can see the big fat tubers. This is so beautiful. It's my first time seeing this actually. This is so exciting. And actually, this guy is actually pretty root bound. Yeah, I see a lot of new growth points here. They are trying to grow, but I don't think there's any room for them to push out anymore. So this is a very good time to transplant. I mean, to propagate and rescue it. It's so tangled up in here, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All these perlite and burnt rice hulls, I can like, use them eventually, uh, later on <laughs> something else. I don't want to waste them. Uh, here's a little net that somebody put on the base of the pot. Yeah, I'm already stepping on perlite. I hear the crunchiness. <laughs> this is going to be pretty annoying. So I'm going to try to gently <laughs> separate it without uh, causing real damage. Okay, this one came right off. Beautiful. How cute, we have a tiny little one. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can see this. Very nice. Look at that. It's like a sword. <laughs> oh, I love seeing all these new growth that are trying to come out of it. Wow, this is beautiful. Let's get this one. <laughs> a lot of things are trying to come out of the soil, but again, that, that pot was, I guess, a little bit too tight for it. It's got these like weird uh, tubes or bulbs and it's got these like i don't know it looks almost like an animal i would say it's amazing so yeah i'm gonna get started let me get my scissors Ooh, okay so i'm actually going to pot these up first and i'm going to clean the leaves after because there's no work area for me to clean the leaves right now so yeah let me get started i see some of the leaves have bent here what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and if the leaves look good like this, I'm going to propagate it. So I'm going to show you how we propagate the plant in a bit. Alright, so this one leaf that's broken, I'm going to cut it at the base. Yeah, I'm going to put this aside for now. I'm running out of workspace. <laughs> so this is my biggest one, biggest plant, and I'm going to put it back into its original pot. 
beautiful. I don't see any pests or any kind of stress in here. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's just I'm not sure why they're flopped over. So if you know why they, they they're not standing up, they're like falling over. Let me know. <laughs> Ooh, oh, this pot is super heavy. Oh my god, it's probably like 25 kilos. I hope I don't break my table. <laughs> Perfect. And even this, as I, I, I'm not gonna tip over the pot, but. It looks pretty full. The root has taken over this whole pot. So this is a good size for it. And it'll keep, it's going to keep pushing out babies from the side. So this is a very good uh, amount for this pot. So the only media that we're going to work with today is the cocoa chips. And one of the reasons why I'm using cocoa chips, I know you can't see me, is because it's light and it also drains pretty fast and it's airy. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you, but I'm gonna pot these up in a bit because this is becoming crazy. And I will show you what they look like after I've potted them up. And then I'll also show you how I clean the leaves. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna show you how I repotted, but this is too interesting. So I saw this little piece over here and also this one and I have a feeling this will start rooting if you give it um, if you kind of propagate it because this is very much alive on top and this is cute too I think this is turned albino probably because it was constricted uh, that's my guess at least or maybe it's just a young shoot and they turn green later again I'm not familiar with sensevieres if you know those but do comment down below but I'm pretty sure these will survive so I'm gonna stick this into a shallow pot and I'm going to now fill it up with cocoa chips. So this can be watered every two to three days. Or if it gets rained on, it gets rained on because uh, it's going to dry out pretty fast. Also combined by the fact that it's in terracotta. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> there you go. I've got one more to work on. But first of all, I'm going to show you over here. These are the three that I've just potted up. I have to tie these up. Yeah, and this is a, the one that we just did, and baby one. And this one is a little bit funky. Actually, the roots are pretty filled up in there, but there are a, a lot of these. Um, I need to secure these, actually. So I'm going to have to tie them yeah, straight up, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in that pot, actually, the roots are pretty full. There's a lot of tubers down there. So it's going to start sprouting these leaves. Welcome to a four months update on the plant. Let's quickly check it out. This is the parent plant, one of them at least. This is a new leaf that sprouted. So it started out teeny tiny and it's just shed its sheath here. Very cute. And it grew quite rapidly actually. This expanded to this size in about, I don't know, two weeks maybe. But it's not put out any other growth yet and it looks fine. I water this every few days and it gets rained on sometimes and as you can see here the leaves that were scrubbed with my soap is no longer having any scale attack so the scale didn't come back in four months that's great so the pesticide definitely does work here's the other one let me quickly check for the, the scale as well it's clean it's squeaky clean i don't see anything here that is great. I keep this tied up because if I open it, it's just going to like flop over and it's going to fold in half. So I'm going to leave it tied up for now. But this is putting out a new shoot down here. Very cute. Hello. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very slow growers, but then they're also very resilient. Here's the Sansevieria or Dracaena that we soaked up. And I didn't propagate this, but this is actually doing quite well. It's putting out pups after pups. And there's another one back here. Very cute. And let's look at the leaf that we cleaned off. So this is basically 
not scale, this is what's left over from the scale attack. Unfortunately, they leave behind a nasty scar and I do see that some of the scale has returned. If you see the light brown, that scale. And back here, I think I see, yeah, I see a lot more here. So the whites are the previous bite marks and this is new scale. So they have returned, but in small numbers. I actually didn't follow up treatment for this guy. As you can see, this comes right off. I didn't follow up treatment on this guy after I soaked it. I should have done it like in a week or two, but oh well, I think I'm just gonna take off this leaf actually, because this is the only leaf that's really badly damaged by scale. It's not gonna do much for the plant and I'm afraid the scale may even pass on to other leaves. But so far the other leaves are quite clean, so I'm glad. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off as soon as, soon as I'm done with this film. And this one here, I don't remember where the original leaf is because this is pretty new, I think, and this is pretty young to me too, it's still unfurling. So I have a feeling that the original leaf that was in this pot died off and these are the pups that emerge instead. It will take a while to, for them to grow big and tall. <laughs> Here's an update on the ones that were propagated. These are actually a year... Sorry, my finger's in the way. This is about a year and two months old, so it is still a very tiny plant. But this is a different species, so I don't think it's gonna get as big as the other one. And it's just such a slow grower. This one gets a little bit of a medium light rather than a bright indirect, so this way it's grown a little bit slower. But I actually really love the veins on these. Look at this. Very pretty. So I've got the rest of them grown here. I do water this every day. It gets rained on and it does rain every day. But yeah, when it doesn't rain, I hose this area down because it's living with a lot of plants that need to be watered daily. So this is a philodendron, more philodendrons, and some skin dapsis over there. Look at how those skin dapsis is taken hold of the wall. That's pretty amazing. Anyways, I digress. So yeah, this gets watered every day. So keep in mind that Sansevierias, they cannot be overwatered. But these guys, they live in terracotta, they live in a fast draining aeroid potting mix, and then they live outdoors, they get great sun, so they can be watered daily. But if you have them indoors, in plastic pots, in soggy or in compact potting mix, you cannot water them often. Sometimes you need to only water, water them once a month or so. This one is putting out a new leaf. Hello. <laughs> and then let me look over here. Actually, I actually haven't checked this out. Yeah, this one is putting out these new leaves here. So everybody's growing, everybody's doing all right. And let me check for scale. I don't know, is that scale? Nope, that's just injury from the past. Yeah, the scale is completely gone. So this is proof that the soap really works. This is a new leaf from a new pot here. So let me look around. Yep, I don't see any more. Maybe this one is pretty new too. So these guys are very, very slow to grow. It will take them maybe two years to fill out this pot to give me a really big plant, but I'm patient. <laughs> so I'm at botanist on Instagram if you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagations. Do DM me there, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do stay safe and take care. I will see you in the next video. Bye!